Hello friends, welcome back. <clears throat> Today we're going to pre-filter JSON to get the data you need. Uh, if you don't want to render every cat photo you get from the Free Code Camp cat photo API, you can pre-filter the JSON before looping through it. Uh, given that the JSON data is stored in an array, you can use the filter method to filter out the cat whose ID key has a value of 1. Here's the code to do this. So here they're saying JSON, where it's reassigning the va value of JSON to what happens when we filter it out in which and we only return, uh, we return cats whose ID is not equal to one. So if the cat, so the cat, um, the first one would have an ID of maybe zero, and then the, so that one we return, that stays in there. The second one has an ID of one, so we don't return it, because uh, this would render out to be false, I guess. And then the third one would be, we would return it because it has an ID of two. So add code to filter the JSON data to remove the cat from the ID. Let me stretch this guy out. Um, so yeah, for right now, let's just um, console.log this, um, on load, parse. Well, here what we have is JSON, right? So I'm just going to run it just so we can see what we're working with. And so what we want to do is filter out this, right? So we're going to say JSON is equal to JSON.filter. Um, and then we're going to say um, function. We're going to say cat, and then we're going to say uh, return uh, if cat.id is, wait, use code to filter the JSON data to remove the cat with the ID is equal to 1. And so, yeah, let's move this uh, console log down here and run the tests, see what happens. Okay, looks like right now all we're doing is we're getting the cat with the ID of 1, so let's make it not equal to, and try it again. Nice. Um, run the tests. Looks like that passed. Okay, so this is kind of a funny way to do this. <clears throat> um, I did this in vanilla JavaScript, which it looks like this whole thing's done in vanilla JavaScript, but we could do this quite easily. Um, if you see it runs the same way like that. This is uh, ES6 arrow functions. Uh, ES6 arrow functions can be shortened up to uh, have implicit return like this. So we could actually uh, do this one like this. And that works the same. And when we've got it like that, our parameters don't actually need uh, parentheses. And so we could return that. That should work. And I'm pretty sure we could actually get rid of this as well uh, in the tests. And that works as well. So yeah, we can you know, filter, filter is quite an efficient function in JavaScript. And um, so, yeah, this makes it sim simple. So, uh, or not simple, but, you know, changes it up. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And so then they're just edit doing this all again. So we've only get the two cat photo images. So we're only dealing with these two ones. So we can filter data. It might make your program more efficient uh, in the future. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we'll see you in the next lesson.